Once upon a time, in a magical forest filled with vibrant colors and enchanting creatures, there lived a little centipede named Chester. Chester was no ordinary centipede. While his friends and family boasted long, graceful legs, Chester had very short legs. Chester's short legs made him feel sad and left out. Every day, he watched his centipede companions swiftly crawling around, effortlessly maneuvering through the forest floor. They played games, raced each other, and explored the nooks and crannies of their magical home. But poor Chester struggled to keep up, always lagging behind. One day, as Chester sat alone on a mossy rock, a kind ladybug named Lucy fluttered by. She noticed Chester's glum expression and landed gently beside him. Lucy had a reputation for being a wise and caring friend to all the creatures in the forest. Hello there, Chester, Lucy greeted him warmly. Why do you look so down today? Chester sighed. Oh, Lucy, look at me. My legs are so short. I can't keep up with my friends. I'm always left behind, and it makes me so sad. Lucy listened attentively, her gentle eyes filled with empathy. She thought for a moment before speaking, Chester, my dear friend, your short legs may seem like a disadvantage, but I believe they hold a special secret. You see, your unique gift lies in how you use those short legs. Chester looked at Lucy with curiosity, his hope rekindled. What do you mean, Lucy? Lucy smiled and explained, your short legs allow you to take small, deliberate steps. While others rush past, you have the chance to notice and appreciate the little things that often go unnoticed, the delicate petals of a flower, the intricate patterns on a fallen leaf, the soft whispers of the breeze. Your gift, Chester, is the ability to find joy in the simplicity of life. Chester pondered Lucy's words, realizing the truth in them. He decided to embrace his short legs and explore the forest in a new light. With each step, he marveled at the wonders around him. He discovered the hidden beauty of dewdrops on blades of grass, the melodious songs of birds, and the gentle touch of sunlight on his tiny back. As Chester embraced his unique perspective, something magical happened. His joy radiated outward, and other creatures in the forest couldn't help but be drawn to his infectious happiness. Slowly but surely, Chester's fellow centipedes began to realize that true happiness lay not in racing to the finish line but in savoring every step of the journey. Chester's short legs had become a symbol of joy, spreading warmth and love throughout the forest. He was no longer left behind, instead, his friends and family slowed down to enjoy life's simple pleasures alongside him. From that day forward, Chester's days were filled with laughter, love, and a deep appreciation for the world around him. He had found happiness within himself and shared it with everyone he met. Chester's short legs were no longer a source of sadness but a reminder of the magic that lies in embracing one's own unique qualities. And so, in the magical forest, the centipede with short legs became the happiest and most beloved creature of them all.